Hey everyone, it's Chad Robinson here and I'm looking forward to sharing this app called Cloud QR with you because of the solution it solves around QR code creation and in particular, how easy it is for you to take media like photos and videos and audio and connect them to QR codes, um, which I must say isn't an entirely difficult thing, but with this app, it does make it even easier than the current method, which would be to use a website like qrstuff.com and connect it to a media file that you've uploaded to something like Google Drive or Dropbox or any of those cloud tools. Um, so this just takes that process, makes it easier, and therefore makes it much quicker for you to be able to do activities that use QR codes. So uh, when we open the app up, you'll see that you've got all these different options for creating QR codes. Um, many of these, for example, those at the top, the text, URL, etc., all QR code tools enable you to use and create QR codes that do exactly those things. Um, just makes it really easy in this app. You know, paste the text in. Uh, for the URL option, you can simply just type in the URL that you want and then hit save and it will take whatever you've placed in there and, and get you to turn it into a QR code. You can then give it a name. So that was a, a golf swing QR code, uh, which I can name just for my own purposes. I can hit the button on the right and I could scan a QR code or rename it or I could print it, save images, uh, etc. send it somewhere. I'm just gonna say done. And um, the cool part about this is I don't believe those text and URL options, which most have, but these other options where you can do a whole lot more in terms of creating media that links to QR codes. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. And I'm gonna start by using the talking image style QR code. And if I tap on that option, you'll see it brings up this menu and I go and browse and find a photo. I'm just gonna use this one right here. And what you can now do, and you can imagine that that is maybe a task that you want your students to do represented as an image. You simply hit the recording microphone button and now you can just talk about whatever it was or whatever it is that you want them to do over the top of the image. Maybe it's a, a task or you want them to do an analysis of their own image and you're explaining the activity at this point. And then as soon as you hit pause, you can save it and it's gonna upload your image with your voice over the top. And you can see here that the final result is a QR code and I could change it to say, you know, talking image task. And when people scan that QR code with, you know, an app like Enigma or any of the QR code um, tools that are available, then it's going to take them to a website where your picture is and your talking is over the top. So you, you would then simply be able to explain the task and print that out. And you've almost, you know, created a situation where the students can... Uh, take themselves through the task. Now, previously, you could have done something like that, but you would have you had to use a variety of different tools to do it. You would have had to first create the video of you talking over the top of your uh, picture, and then you would need to upload that video to a, a cloud tool, and then finally, you could make a QR code. But now, with this app, you can sort of do it all from one place. Same with the record audio. You know, if you just want a audio instruction based QR code, then you can simply do that. You, you open up the record audio auction, click on that button, explain for up to five minutes what it is that you want students to do or what, you know, in, in more detail. Press pause, hit save, and that audio file is gonna get uploaded and the end result will be a QR code uh, of that particular thing for your students to scan and then get the audio message. Now that's how all of these other options work as well. You can see here image library, uh, slideshow. This is, is pretty cool. You can basically uh, open up and add in more than one picture and then the students can swipe through the photos when they scan on the QR codes. Um, the other options again are, are quite, um, quite powerful. The video library. So you can easily open up the video library of your device and then can find a video you've already recorded and have that uploaded 
um, to a QR code. However, for this particular purpose, you need to have a YouTube account. So the app uploads the video that you share to YouTube and then creates a QR code out of it. Um, there's one extra step in there that you have to obviously sign into your Google account and the videos would end up on YouTube first as well as um, the QR code. Same as the record video function. You would record a video in the app and then it uploads it to YouTube. Um, the take picture option works very similar to these above where you, you basically just have a page where that image is presented. And then finally, you've got a few other options here for document and um, clipboard. Clipboard's easy in that it basically would just take whatever you've got saved on your clipboard and say, do you want to make a QR code out of it? Um, so you don't have to paste it. Uh, but the document option, when you click on it, it will actually load up some of the cloud tools that you have on your device. So I could click on iCloud Drive and any files that I had on iCloud Drive, they could be selected and then turned into a QR code. So you could you know, have a worksheet, easily create a QR code for it, and then the students could scan that QR code to read the worksheet. So there's a few options there. I just love the fact that this sort of puts it into a really easy creation space where you can take some media and remove a lot of steps that would have had to take place before. Um, once you've created things, then you can go into history and it'll actually show you all the different QR codes that you've made on the device. And if you've given names to them, you can you know sort of see the context of that. Uh, on the left-hand side here, you can even create groups. So you could create a group called Talking Image QR Codes. And what you can then do is click on Talking Image or those style and you could move them to the specific groups that match with that. So if I tap, tap on that group now, there's all my QR codes that are of that particular style. But I mean, maybe your groups are lesson types and then you can easily come in and you can see at a glance all the different types of QR codes that match that group. So that is the Cloud QR app. It's available for iPhone and iPad and I think it serves its purpose of making QR code creation uh, just that little bit easier when you're connecting it to multiple media formats. Go and enjoy.